Welcome to the video blog today on battery storage. Now, over the last couple of years, the most common question that we have everywhere we go is, what about batteries? What about batteries? And as you're no doubt aware, in that couple of years, technology's just advanced incredibly. There's lots of new batteries out there. There's lots of, as always with solar, lots of confusion, lots of new technology, lots of Google experts about batteries. So I'm gonna do a series now on battery storage to go with your solar, and I'm going to address most of the aspects of this, and I'm going to try to do it in a bullet point series for you. So this video is going to address firstly, why batteries, and are batteries right for me? So why batteries? Well, as you are aware, the thing with solar power is it makes power when the sun's shining. For a lot of people, their power usage happens in the morning before they go to work, and in the evening when they come home. So all during the day, the power that's generated, either gets, it runs the house, but a lot of that gets exported to the power company, and let's face it, they don't pay you a lot of money. So a lot of your generation gets wasted. By having batteries, number one, they're a fantastic anti-export mechanism. So all the power that your system generates gets stored in your batteries, you get to use it at night, and you're getting full value from every kilowatt power that you're generating from that system. So that's one of the main reasons to consider batteries. The second aspect of the benefits of having some battery storage is to have an emergency power supply. All of the decent battery storage systems allow for an EPS circuit, emergency power supply circuit, that will run a portion of your house in the event of a power outage. Now, if you're one of the unfortunate people in Auckland recently, thousands of homes were without power for up to four or five days. And generally speaking, the solar power systems will not work when the power's out, which is something a lot of people aren't aware of. Your standard solar system, when the power goes down, shuts itself down, because otherwise it could be exporting power down the lines to some poor linesman who's trying to repair your power, and he fries himself. And we don't want to go killing linesmen, because as we know in Auckland, we need all the linesmen we've got. So an emergency power supply is a great thing to have. So that's one other aspect. What we do is we identify some circuits in the home and we run these circuits from your battery system. With your EPS, during the day your solar is still running. So it's generating enough power to run those circuits to keep your fridge and freezer going. If you're rural, it'll keep your water pump going. You can still flush the toilet. You can still live fairly normally. And you've got a good percentage of your house that runs on your emergency power supply circuit. So that's fantastic. The third aspect about adding battery storage to your system is what we call energy self-sufficiency. More and more these days, our clients are interested in being self-sufficient. Whether they're in the country, whether they're in the city, the buzz these days is I wanna be self-sufficient in my energy. I wanna have 60, 70, 80% self-sufficiency. That's where batteries come in. If you've got a solar system already, then generally you'll know that that system's probably offsetting somewhere between a third and a half of your power use, depending on whether you're home in the, during the day to uh, use the power when it's being generated, or whether you're off at work. So depending on your situation, your solar system's generating a reasonable amount, reasonable percentage of your power usage. Now adding batteries, we have a number of uh, examples of clients who through adding a decent battery bank, we've got them up to 75, 80, 85% self-sufficiency. So they're in a situation where they're only reliant on the grid for 15 or 20% of their power, the rest of it is self-generated. So that's a great aspect of batteries is self-sufficiency. So those are the reasons about why to have batteries. Now, the second aspect I'd like to cover in this snapshot is are batteries right for me? And that's an interesting question. So from a basic standpoint, where we come from in that question is, if a client comes to us and say they have put solar on already, and they're saying, Roy, you did a great job, we've got three kilowatts of solar, we're home during the day, we're loving it, we've got a, a really low power bill, now what about batteries? When I look at their bill, if, as many of our clients do, they have a $20 or $30 bill in the summer and an $80 to $100 bill in the winter, then the answer to the question at the moment is probably not. You know, if we can 
change that $20 bill or $100 bill to nothing in the summer and $30 in the winter. It's great, but in the scheme of things, the financial saving probably doesn't justify an eight or nine or $10,000 investment in batteries. So there is no doubt about it, batteries are fantastic, but they're not for everybody. The clients who talk to us and they go, we're a power hungry household, we've got a swimming pool, we've got a spa pool, we've got a solar system, we had an $800 power bill and now it's down to $350. They're the client that we can really help because if we can put battery storage in and if we can save them $200 a month, all of a sudden it's a $2,500 saving a year. And when you look at that and you go, spend $10,000 to save two and a half, that's a fantastic dynamic. That, that works for the client. So there's levels at which battery storage at the moment really does make sense on a financial basis that is. There's still the point we touched on about security of supply, about self-sufficiency, and there are clients that we have and we've installed systems where even though they had a low power bill now, thanks to their solar power, they're in an area where power cuts drive them nuts, where they've got a, a water pump and they've got, you know, they're rural and without power they can't flush the toilet, the, the bulls have got out of the paddock and it, life turns into misery for them. Now for these clients, a solar power pack with batteries can give them that emergency power supply that makes the lifestyle difference. So there are clients who spend the eight or $10,000 to go to the battery stage, really for security of supply. So to answer the, is batteries uh, a solution for me? Those are the things to consider. So I think that's answered the first two points for you. The next little blog I'm gonna do is gonna be on battery technology, the type of technologies, and what battery may suit you if you decide that batteries are an option. So tune into the next blog and we'll talk about technology. Thanks for tuning into my blogs. As always, a pleasure talking to you and come on back to Solar King. Thank you.